Hey guys, it's May May, and I'm going to try something and take you along for the ride and see how it goes. So I was going through my paper stash and I found that I have a lot of pieces and parts of six by six pads. I thought, what can I do with these little pieces and parts without having to really think too hard about it? Like, I don't really want to turn them into cards, although I could, but I got to thinking, I think I know a way to make some super cute, easy gift, um, gift ideas. So let's see if this will work. We're going to turn a bunch of pages into a mini album that has no binding. Just check it out. I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm going to run through here and I'm going to pick out some pages and I'm not even going to worry what they are. I'm just going to be willy nilly with the pages and I'm going to use like the first six or even eight. I might use eight. And because the paper pack is all coordinated, they should all work together. No issue. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Perfect. Okay. So obviously I can make multiples out of this one paper pack, by the way. So now what I need to do is trim these guys at the top and get rid of that little hole. So let me get my trimmer and start that. This is literally going to be one of those don't blink projects. I think, I really don't know how, I've not tried this. So we're going to see how this works. Here's something about these um, six by six pads you want to do. When you're trimming these and where this hole is, right? Don't don't just trim right to that hole. If you want this to be a true six by six piece of um, cardstock, you want to put it at six inches in your trimmer and then trim. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Now this one got close. See how close that one is to the hole? But sometimes it's not that close. And so by doing this, I know I have true six by six pieces of paper or cardstock. And then I'm going to trim all of these guys up and get them all done. Perfect. Now, I'm going to score them. This is one of those projects for people that just don't like to think out the process of mini albums. Mini albums can kind of be, um, it can be frustrating for folks. And this is one of those projects where you don't have to think. I'm going to score these in half at three. I don't even have to think about that. I'm just going to score them in half and just run down here. Do another one. And I'm not worried about picking the paper sides that I'm going to use yet. I just want to go ahead and get them scored. So I'm just going to get the score mark done. And really, with floral patterns like this, I don't even have to worry about if my patterns are upright or not. Although it looks like I might have been doing some sideways. It doesn't really matter because they go in all different directions. So that's even better with these types of papers. Okay, there is that. Now... I'm going to fold them in half and corner around the edges. Let me get my corner rounder. Okay, so I'm just gonna fold this one over. This is where I'm gonna decide which page or which part of the page is going to be the outside. So I'm gonna line this up with itself like so. There we go. Use my bone folder and crease that down. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my corner rounder and I'm gonna corner round these edges. So that will be one page of my book. And then I'm gonna do it again here. Now, if you want your book to be larger, of course you can do that. You can do this same thing with like bigger pieces of cardstock. You can do exactly what we're doing today. But I just wanted to make this little tiny, um, non, not, what's the word? Non-bound album. <laughs> and now that I'm thinking about it, I need to do this. I need to turn the insides out. I'm glad I thought about this. So this is what I want to be my outside page. This is the inside. And the way I'm going to bind these together, that matters. So I'm glad I thought about that because that's what I want to be the outside. And I'm going to bind this together by making little pockets right here and putting this guy together like that. So it'll kind of stack. So you want to make sure you fold the outside. Like if I want this to be the outside, then I want to fold it in. This will make more sense in a second when we start assembling. There's that one. Let's corner around that one as well. So outside in. I should call this the outside in album. <laughs> this page is so pretty to me. I love it. 
now you can kind of see what our album will be like when it's put together. It'll be like this on the ends, which I think that is pretty. I like how all those pages go together. But I want to bring the one page that I want to be my cover out. And I want this particular one to be my cover because I love these flowers. So what I'm going to do is this particular page, I'm going to turn the opposite way because I want this to be the cover and this will be the inside here. So that is how my album will stack up. So this will be my front. It doesn't matter what I put in the back, but I really like this stripe in the back. I think that looks pretty together like that. So here's how we will start to attach these guys. Really easy. We're going to take pages as they are stacked, okay? And I'm going to use liquid glue. You could certainly use your sticky tape, but I'm going to be putting some inserts in here. So I'm going to use liquid, liquid glue. So I'm using my art glitter glue. And I'm running just a strip at the top, a strip at the bottom, and I'm going to run a strip at the back. I'm basically making a pocket. Just like that. And then I'm going to lay these guys together and stack them up exactly. And this will be our first few pages and a pocket. So let's get that all rubbed down, just like so. So see, together and a pocket. Isn't that easy? Here's what I'm loving about this. This is what I was thinking. Wouldn't this be cute as a brag book for someone's purse? And like, there's no work to create this. It's going to be so easy. All right, let's do the bottom here. Let's do the side just like so. And I was thinking this because the other day I was like, you know, we just don't have brag books like we used to. We just don't have things in our purse that we just pull out. We all pull out our cell phones, right? Well, this is about the size of a cell phone. <laughs> and we can pull out an actual little brag book and show our grandkids off or show off sweet little pictures that we have. I think it would be cool. So I'm just going to run through and continue gluing these guys down in pocket style. And then we'll look at our book together. Okay, let's talk pockets. I have seven pockets in here, little slides, right, that I can put things in. I can put all kinds of stuff in there, but I wanna do little slide outs, all right? And listen, we're gonna keep using our six by six pad up, so check this out. I'm gonna go through here and I'm just going to grab pages. Each page gets me two pockets, so this will be two, and this one will be four, and this will be six. And then I just need one more. So I'm going to see if I have a scrap in here. Sometimes I'll have a scrap laying around. I don't. So I'll just take one more piece. Let's do this one in the back. And I can always add that scrap in here. Okay. Now then, don't need this for now. We're going to go ahead and trim these down to five inches because we're going to cut our little um, pullouts three by five. So since I have to cut that little hole off anyway, I'm just going to trim this down to five inches just like that. And then these guys, I'm going to trim in half at three. And this will get me all of my little inserts ready, set, and go. Look how easy that was. Okay. Now, because I have been corner rounding the album itself, you could corner round these, but I'm going to do something else. Let me show you. I'm going to border punch them. This little dainty border punch will be so cute on here. And I'm just going to slide this guy in and border punch this little frilly punch down both sides of this. It's hard for you to see with this pattern. I'll flip it over and show you on the solid side what this looks like. Let me finish punching here. You can see it a little, yeah, you can see it better there. So that's what the little border punch looks like. And I'm gonna do that for all of these guys. So I'm just gonna run down and do these little punches real quick. Now then, let's slide our little pockets in and see how this looks. I think it'll be really cute and it'll just have that little frilly edge. Look at that. That is so cute. Because we didn't uh, make like a gusset here to attach, we have kind of a tight pocket. You know, whenever you glue things flat, I've told you this before in many albums, then you slide something in, it'll stay. This is an example of that. If we gusseted these or we added any binding strips to these ends, this wouldn't stay as snug. This one's really snug. I'm getting get in there nice and straight. There we go. So we had a couple and not a couple. We had two visitors come in yesterday. It was a mom and a dad. 
and they are traveling and they are adorable. First off, her name is Cass and I didn't get his name. I just got his name was dad, but here's the thing. They travel, they take a vacation together. They travel and they just stop where they want to stop. They just stop willy nilly. Look, I didn't need um, seven. I needed six. So I have one too many. No big deal. But she said they like to stop at roadside oddities. And I was laughing because I said, that's why they stopped here. Right. But how cute would this be for something like that, for like um, a little mini trip or maybe you go, uh, maybe a weekend getaway, you know, because it's hard sometimes to get enough photos for like big albums and things, but for a weekend getaway, something like this would be perfect, right? Okay, so there's those little guys. I think I'm going to go back and corner around the edges of them on the inside. I think I'll have a better slide in if I do that. So let me pull these guys out. We know that they all fit and now I'm going to corner around them and I can do like three or maybe even four at a time. So I'm going to corner around the bottom corners just to take some of that resistance out. Sometimes getting rid of those little points can help do that. Now let's just see if this is better. I think it will fit better. And you can put any ones you want in. It doesn't matter. Yes, yeah, see how much better that was, how much easier that was to slide in. And I love this little frilly border. But which one do I want to be the first one? Let's see. Maybe this pink stripe to stick out. Let's see if that's the one I want to be the first one. Because it'll be what shows um, on the other side of this. Oh, that's cute with the little pink stripe. Okay, let's put the rest in. So there's our little pull-out pieces. Now we need to decorate the front. So I'm going to do some old-fashioned fussy cutting, okay? Like decoupage fussy cutting. This is for real stuff. This flower here in the middle, I'm going to cut this out and let it be my biggest focal point on the front of my little mini album. So I'm just going to run around and trim this out. And I'm not worried about being perfect. I'm doing this very like we used to do decoupage. So I'm just going to run around and grab this flower out of the middle just like so. I want to show you this too. I'm only taking the leaves that I can get easily. I'm not going to cut these little bitty petals or these little bitty leaves. I'm going to cut them away and on the bigger leaves I'm going to keep those. So the ones that are easy to cut away when I'm done it'll look just as cute because it'll still have leaves but all those little ones that would be too hard to cut I'm not even worried about. Okay, so I've got my little flowers cut out and I've cut for myself two more strips. This one is three inches by an inch and a half and I corner rounded the bottoms. And then this one is about three quarters of an inch by three inches and you'll see what we're gonna do with those. The first thing I'm gonna do is personalize my little album. So this little strip, I'm gonna use the stamp set called Alpha Bold. Um, I love this big old bold um, stamp set and I'm gonna be uh, making this personal for me, for Grams. So I am attempting to go by Grams with my grandchildren. And right now I just have Addie. She's my first one. And we're trying to get her to say Grams, but it's really hard for her. She's so little, but she can say Pops, by the way. She can say, well, she says Op, and it's really cute. So I'm going to stamp this down just like so. And this is going to be my personal brag book. Look how cute that is. Now, can you see how some of my ink skipped? That's the first time I had stamped with that. Actually, the second time because I stamped while I go with it. But those bold letter stamps, they need kind of seasoning. The more you use them, the better they stamp. But I want to show you something. Do not fret. I'm just going to take this little illustrated faith pen. I love this pen and it works really well to kind of doctor up those spots. I don't mind it having a little bit of distress look to it. Kind of looks good for this paper, but I'm going to just doctor up some of the spots like so. I love these this pen set for this because it comes with a, um, this is the little nib and it also has a 0.65 nib. So when you're doing stamps and you need to touch up something that didn't quite work like you wanted it to, it's perfect because if you need to get into a, a tiny spot, this little nib works perfect. And if you need to get into a larger spot, you can use that 0.65. I also love the 0.65s for, um, for journaling because I think it's great for that. All right, and I'm not really touching this up. I kind of like the look, so I'm just going to leave it a little bit splotchy like that. Okay, now I'm going to use, and I have not pulled this stamp set out in a long time. Let me show you. I'm going to use this set. It is called Banner Day, and I'm going to use this font down here, and I'm going to put Brag Book down on this little guy, and I think I'll have enough room. Yeah, that'll be fine. I'm not measuring this, and I don't mind if it's a little all over the place. I just want it to be something like this. So that's the word brag. And now I'm going to do book right there. But I got to take this B off of here. Actually, I could leave the B and add the OOK -OK to it. So I'm going to stamp B-O 
and then OK because I need the O twice. I love that. I like how the letters are all over the place because I didn't even try to line them up. I think they're super cute and I think it'll look adorable tucked right under here. And I think I'm even going to trim it down even more and make it almost like a tag. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to trim this side down about like that. And I'm going to come over here and trim this side about the same. And let's see if I like it square or if I want to corner around that also. No, that's super cute. Look at that. I love it. Okay. So now I think I'm going to foam this up. Let me just go ahead and glue this to the back of it. And I left myself plenty of room here to add the glue. So I had all that space there. And then I'm just going to stick this on here like so. I like this. This is the first thing I've made for myself as a grandma for myself. Isn't that neat? I love it. A little bit of foam. You might not want to foam tape it if you're going to use this as a brag book in like your purse or a bag, but I think it's going to be fine. So now this little guy is going to go right here toward the bottom. That's cute. I'm going to add a little bit of art glitter glue just as a precaution since this guy will probably get some use pulling in and out of purses and things like that. That way it'll help it out just a little bit. We'll put it kind of low down here. Graham's brag book. That's too cute. I love that. All right, and then these flowers are going to go here in this area, something like this, just for a little extra added something. I even thought about taking them to the side at an angle, but I kind of like them down kind of low. What do they look like behind? Nope, I like them kind of like this, just right at my name. So I'm going to put some foam in the middle here to pop it up. And I'm probably going to put some foam on those leaves out there. So peel the backer off of all of my little foam tapes here. And I'm going to add a little glue down here where it's going to touch my little uh, name placard right there. And then place this where I want it. And something like this. And to be honest, I want this to kind of get worn. Like, I want these leaves to kind of... Um, bend up and get a little worn and loved and I just think that'll be so cute. I'm even gonna start wearing them a little bit there and that will be my little my little brag book for my Graham's brag book. I think it's cute and there's no telling what I can put in here. I can do journaling. I can do all kinds of stuff but look how easy that little album was to make. Imagine doing this same style with, I better put my pen in my glue, um, imagine doing the same style with 12 by 12 paper and instead of cutting um, your page is six by six to start, cut your pages 12 by six, and then you end up with a little six by six album made just like this. The easiest thing I've ever put together, super quick. This would be a fast gift you could throw together in no time. And it works perfect for those six by six pads, because look right here, I still have some left, but look how much I was able to use. And you, of course, we're not just trying to use up our six by six, but it's a good thing for our six by six, especially if you get one for a particular project and then don't need the rest of it. It's a good way to use your um, six by six paper. I hope you enjoyed that one. I did. I think it's super cute. I cannot wait to fill it up. And if you make one of these little brag books, share it with us at our customer gallery over on MayMayMadeIt.com. I love seeing what you guys are making, and I bet you turn this into something I never even thought about. You'll go crazy with it. Hey, Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye.